Hey everyone, welcome back to Brown Code Nerd. Today I just got a real quick video that's been kind of bugging me. I've been wanting to make this video um, specifically on the safety issue or concerns on the um, both the older Beretta Cheetahs as well as the new Beretta 80X. Now I have seen a lot of YouTubers making videos addressing this, um, which is something I have been kind of <laughs> preaching about ever since I bought my very first 80 series, this uh, 85F here. Um, and that's the false position of the safety. Now with the 80X coming out, um, I was very curious as to what Breda would have done with this. And very early on, I saw a couple of reviews of the gun mention how it can be carried cocked and locked. And it, excuse me, and it also had a decocker. Um, and I was very impressed with that. So I was like, oh, wow, that's nice. And then as time went on, I discovered it really cannot be carried cocked and locked. And a lot of people are saying that. And this really goes back to the introduction, basically, of when Beretta switched from the BB to the F models. And when they introduced that decocker. So, real quick, what I'm talking about here, we'll get the uh, 84F out here. And, of course, everything has been safety checked. Everything is empty. So on our Beretta here, you can see we have the hammer back. If we're to put the safety up, it clicks and it also has an audible little snap there. And one would assume, and somewhat rightfully so, that that is our safety position because all of the 80 series before the F and the FS, this is a BB, so right before they switched over to the F, once again, we are all cleared on everything. These ones, you can put the safety on. So, safety on, safety off. However, with this here, um, that is not the safety. It will fire the gun. And so when I first purchased this, that's something I noticed um, and tested at the range and was kind of like, oh, wow, I've seen... You know, even before the new 80X came out, people were talking about how the um, 84 and 85 F and FS models, how not only do they have a decocker, but you can carry them cocked and locked. And I was pleading with people when I very first discovered that, do not do that, you're gonna end up shooting yourself. Um, so both of these are like that. So you gotta push it all the way up. At that point, it does decock it. Um, but you are actually on safe then at that point. And this goes for the new 80X. And apparently one of the issues they had is when it very first came out, I guess it did not come with an actual physical owner's manual, but like a QR code you could scan and then like download a PDF file. Now in there, um, Brett apparently does point out that the safety is not engaged until it is all the way pushed to the top and the hammer is decocked. Yeah, however, apparently does not mention, oh, by the way, there's kind of this false safety here. That's not a safety at all. Um, I was kind of hoping Breda would fix the issue when they came out with the new 80X. Um, I'm going to guess it has something to do with the uh, decocking mechanism. And they're using the same mechanism they used on the F and the FS models. And it's just something that is, you know, apparent in that. And you're going to have that false safety. So just wanted to get this out there. Um, with these two examples, the 84F and the 85F, I got that backwards, the 85F and the 84F. Um, with both of these examples here, uh, the gun will fire every time you put it in that false safe position. The way that Breda has made this issue worse, apparently on the newer 80X, um, which is just this gun, but for the Revolved, um, apparently you can put it in that false safe position and there's videos of people pulling the trigger and that trigger is completely disconnected. So you'd be like, okay, cool. This is a safety. Um, but there's videos of people, you know, pulling that trigger like five to 15 times. And it's only a matter of time before the hammer drops and the gun fires. So not only on the new guns, do you have this false safety, but if you test it out once, you might be inclined to think that it is indeed a safety and then randomly eventually that hammer will drop and you lose a toe or testicle or who knows what. Um, 
So there, and there are also other videos of people with the new ADX where they're like, no, the hammer drops every time I pull the trigger when it's in that false safety mode. But either way, um, I just wanted to go ahead and make this video out there. I know this is already starting to get well addressed finally. Um, but I figured if I make this video, I preach about that whenever I do reviews on the cheetahs with the decocker. Um, and also just to clarify, technically the cheetah is the 80 uh, series that are F. FS and then obviously the new X. Technically speaking, these original ones and the B's and the BB's are not cheetahs. So not a big deal, but I figured I'd point it out because might as well throw a little bit of information in this other than, uh, you know, not shooting yourself. So I just want to get this out there. I figured, hey, maybe if this gets across to one owner of one of these older ones or one of the new cheetahs and they're like, oh crap, I thought that was a safety. If it gets crossed to at least one of you, I'm happy I did my job. Just a short little video. Um, and that's really all I've got. This is just kind of a little safety, hey, pay attention. But while I got you guys here, um, I'll probably just go ahead and throw this video up live. I'm not bothered about making this one of my regular videos. Tomorrow, um, I do have the full review of my CZ82 X grade I got from AIM Surplus. Um, and I've got it resting in this holster trying to help break it in as in that video you'll see this was barely snappable with that gun in there also I will be making a video of these cool little guys I recently got from sportsman guide these are actually for your Beretta 80 series um, and the F models barely fit in there but they do well I'll mess with it in the actual review for this um, but we will soon be seeing a review on these guys. And then, of course, I've also I've got another holster review on this Bianchi, Bianchi uh, M12 holster for the Beretta 92. And, of course, we will also have another lock grips review on this lovely camo pattern set I got from them for my 92S. So, just a little treat for you return viewers there. That is it, guys. I just wanted to bring up these safety concerns on these. So once again, the F and the FS, you cannot carry cocked and locked. However, the original version like this, the B and the BB, yes, you can. All right, guys. That's it. Uh, that's all. As always, stay safe and stay shiny.